Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm actually coming right off of the last one we just did. And this seems to be working a lot better, so that's good. Um, you can't see me right now, which is all right. Um, I turned off the video recording because as you guys saw from the last lesson, if you did watch that, my, comp my laptop's not really fit for this kind of streaming video plus high quality audio while recording a screen while doing the things on the screen. Um, so I went ahead and took, this is just going to be audio voiceover for this one, but I'm still here. Um, you could print out a picture of my face and sticker it to the bottom right hand corner if you'd like. Other than that, let's get going. I actually really love this method that we're about to do. This one is called, where did I learn this? This was like one of the first methods I learned when I still was working a part-time job, figuring out how to find my first product. I think it was Millionaire Millennial who I learned this from. Uh, I was a big FBA YouTuber. This is essentially called URL page editing. So what that is, I'm going to show you right now. And this kind of relates to one of our first methods. This is the one where you're going to put a negative sign. You're going to go like this. You're going to type in something random, right? But then what you're going to do after that is you're actually going to go into a department. So this part's going to look really familiar for you, a lot of you guys, right? So we're going to go arts, crafts, and sewing, one of my personal faves. And then maybe we'll just go into let's actually just leave it right here so here's where this gets cool what we can actually do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sort by average reviews and now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go ahead and select page two and we could actually look right here once once you sort by average reviews you could just stop here and look at this page make sure this is important if you don't go to page two this won't work so if this isn't working make sure you went to page two or else the url code won't pop up for you to change so once you go to page two if you look right up here in the url you'll actually see after page there's an equal signs and then the number two. Now it would be impossible for us to keep going down here and clicking all the way through, you know, looks like my computer's still having a little bit of a hard time here. It'd be impossible for you to click to 400 efficiently, right? You're not gonna keep scrolling down and clicking to 400. What we can do is we know that all these products are kind of mainstream and they have a lot of reviews. We could go instead of page two, we could actually come up here and change that. So delete the two. And now you're actually editing the URL. And what you can do is you could put like page 50. So we'll start there and just hit enter. Now it's going to actually reload and now you're going to be on page 50. Um, so you'll see we're now looking at results 1177 through 1200 of 50,000. So these are sponsored. They're probably just ranking for arts and crafts in general. Um, but when we come down here, we start seeing like Cinco de Mayo tissue palms. Now that's a little bit out of season, but we're starting to see products with less reviews. So we're not looking at thousands anymore. We're looking at 300 and you'll notice they're all kind of similar in review size. Um, that's because we're sorted by average review. So this one's going to have less than this one. And this one is going to have less than the one above it and so on and so forth. Um, so it's actually in order. Now we're still in the 300s. Now we could stop here and look for something, but I think it would it would probably be beneficial to keep going. So if 50 took us to the 300 range, why don't we go ahead and do 90? Go a little bit less than half. And we'll go that much farther. So now when we scroll down, Okay, the reviews are low. So there's 17, 17, 17, 17, 17. A lot of low reviews here. So maybe we went a little too far. So I'm looking for the 50 to 75 range. So maybe we'll go 75. And for you for you guys who don't really understand what I'm doing, we've sorted the whole category of arts, crafts, and sewing by reviews. Now this is perfect. So we're looking at 
listings with you know 50 reviews under 50 reviews and then we're gonna go ahead and pull up jungle scout on this page see what we could find now if there's nothing good on this page revenue to review wise then we're gonna go and we're gonna go to do... <laughs> that was funny mom savage but you guys didn't guess that that's what my mom's name is so jungle scout pull it up on this page okay and now what we're looking for a lot of these will suck but what we're looking for is the revenue to review ratio so command has 40,000 yeah no wonder command is a massive brand um, but what we're looking for is the private labelers that have you know 20,000 so what is this okay it's a slime making kit that one is probably not gonna be a good one um, a photo explosion box so there's a lots of lots of different ideas that we could run with here um, a, okay let's see baby shower decorations I don't personally love that market but this is all we have to do so if we don't like this page go 77 instead of 75 and then what we would do is we would pull up jungle scout here and again all that we're gonna look for is the revenue to review ratio we already know the reviews are gonna be anywhere in the 100 to 50 review range so now all we have to do is look for high revenues and then we would take those ideas and those ideas would become the things that we would search for in markets so let's see what we have here Okay, just paper bags making someone 30 grand a month. Unbelievable. Come down a little bit. So what is this? Pencil and pen pouch holder. At the time of filming, this school's just starting. I would imagine that has something to do with why those sales are so high. Book binding kits. So, you know, they're not doing crazy numbers, but if they had a 50% margin, maybe they're doing $100 a day in profit. That's nothing to, you know, write off. snaps and snap pliers set buttons for sewing okay interesting so they're doing actually 439 sales per month at almost 18 dollars so they're not doing too bad again if they're at uh you know even a 50 or 40 percent margin they're doing over a hundred dollars a day who wouldn't want to have a hundred dollars a day in passive income coming into their bank account um, that's certainly my minimum goal for every product that I launch is, will this make me $100 a day? I don't know why that's the goal. It's just kind of a cool thing to say, really. <laughs> um, it's just like a, a solid number. If you're hitting, you know, imagine, I always picture it in cash, right? So like if someone's going to come to my door and hand me a $100 bill every single morning, while I'm having my coffee and say, hey, here's for today's sales. That's very cool. And that's a good thing in my mind now. Imagine if you could just get three or four products to do that. Um, we don't have to come wailing into this giant market right? you could find a market where there's a crucial flaw no one's really taking the time to fix it maybe no one's making more than 15 or 20,000 a month in sales but who cares right you could get something rolling if you only have 1500 to start maybe pick a product that you could guarantee some sales instead of risking getting no sales in a market where you won't be able to get ranked like for instance what is this um, why is that getting 8,000 per month in sales? So that's something I would check out. That picture is horrible. So why are they getting sales? Insulated lining. I can't even read what this, I have no idea what this is. Why is this selling? Like they're actually getting sales. It's not just Jungle Scout being weird. Look, their sales rank is phenomenal. What the heck is this? I, it, the listing's so bad, I don't know what it is. I can't even read it. Needle punched insulated lining. Reflects heat or cold back to the source. No pre-wash necessary. So their brand is trademarked. It's just fabric, I think. How would we search this? Needle punched insulated lining. So I guess insulated lining is what we would search. So that would become our product idea. So we would take that. And when you're doing this method, make sure you don't get rid of this page because it's frustrating to have to go all the way back through. Um, so open up a new tab and then search the product that you're getting from the previous page. 
Needle punched insulated lining. All right, so there's other products popping up here, but let's actually just check this out. You guys can't see me right now, but I am drinking orange juice. It's pretty good. It is the 365 brand from Whole Foods. The ingredients simply say orange juice. So I believe them. It's pretty good. No pulp for you, those of you who are wondering. While we're loading here, provide some entertainment. All right, what do we got? So the lunch bag is not the correct thing. Um, what is this? This is doing 11,000 per month. Okay, those are just blinds. So this market seems like it's a bit of a goof. No idea why that one listing up there is doing so well. Um, but there's not enough information to go off of here. I wouldn't risk going into a market like this. I don't even know who to target. I don't know what this is for. So this is something I'd probably stay away from. Maybe they're driving sales from elsewhere because it certainly doesn't seem that people would be typing this into Amazon. So that is URL page editing method. That one's pretty unique. I don't even know if I've necessarily showed anyone that method. I learned it a long time ago. And that's something I use to this day. If I just want to jump really far, I could even, you know, throw a hundred in there, right? And I'll go and it'll completely change what I'm looking at. I'll be looking at things that have very low amounts of reviews. So look, we're looking at, you know, 60, 69, 68, 65. So these are, this is the review range of products that we do want to be in. So we're simply going to pull up Jungle Scout on the results from our page editing. And again, this isn't a market that we're analyzing. We're just looking for an idea here. So I just look, literally I'll, I'll edit the page number. I'll pull up Jungle Scout. And then what I'll do is I'll just go look for a high revenue. So this person's doing 13,000 exactly per month. Why? They have 70 reviews. It is basewood, carving, whittling. So it's literally just wood for carving. These are just wood blocks. Um, fees aren't coming up. It's only 15.99. That does look pretty big. So that'd be something you'd probably want to sea ship there'd be no way to airship that effectively unless you didn't want to profit if you just want to sell on amazon for the fun of it and not make any money then maybe you could sea ship that so doi scrapbook and again some of these things don't particularly interest me and it's not like i'm always going to have great examples of products when i do this because this is live guys well it's technically not live i recorded it and now you're watching me in the past but what I'm trying to say is like, you guys gotta spend some time on this, right? So this is the method, now go utilize it. Utilize what you've learned. Spend an hour on this. I would personally take every method I've taught you in the course and spend an hour with each of them without bouncing around between them before you make a, up your mind about which method you like best. And don't just like the method that I said was best because I like that best. You know, everyone has a bit of a different workflow, a bit of a different vibe when they're working. So figure out what works best for you. Are you a numbers person? Do you like looking at pictures? What's most effective for you? I like getting the ideas out of the way. I used to struggle with ideas and now I find ideas so quickly because I just, I model what the best sellers on Amazon are doing. The best sellers on Amazon are generally likely to have more best selling products because they're selling one successfully. I'd bet that they have more. Um, that's how you scale on Amazon. So I'm going to go see what their other products are, right? Now I'm just basically taking you back to the first video of product research here, but I'm just explaining why I like that. So hopefully you guys liked this one. I like this one personally. I do like this one. The ones I didn't like too much was like Amazon basics, the typing method. Um, I don't use those too much. I do use this one more often than not. So hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next lesson of the product research course tomorrow. Or maybe you're binge watching and I'll see you in about two seconds when you click on it. All right, later.